Tottenham, will they ever play a game? First, they got hit by the weather. Second, they got hit by a COVID outbreak. Will they ever play a football match ever again? As it stands, they take on Liverpool at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium on Sunday and we have a preview in 3, 2, 1, let's hit it! Welcome back to the channel, happy Friday, it's Friday then. And what a preview we have here, we have Saint NFC TV, I'm bringing the energy, I'm bringing the absolute legend onto the stream. Big up Saint, make sure you smash the subscribe to Saint NFC TV, doing an unbelievable job on his channel. Top content creator, an even better guy. Thank you, Shay, first and foremost. And without further ado, let's get into it. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. Make sure you hit that like button and you hit that infamous subscribe button if you haven't already done so. This game should be streamed as a watch along. Hopefully I can get it as a watch along, but I'm not too sure. So just keep your eyes peeled and uh, yeah, it should, they sh there should be a stream on the channel because that's what we do. This game, I mean, Tottenham haven't had a game in so long. I mean, they haven't had a game in just over two weeks. They, go to, they host Liverpool, uh, currently who are in top form. Six wins out of six so far in the Premier League uh, in the last six games. It's believed that Sergio Reguilon and Giovanni De Celso are the two uh, main key players in the starting team that are set to return. Um, since Antonio Conte's appointment, you have to... to you know, congratulate the defensive form. They've only conceded one goal in their last four games. And Liverpool are coming into this this game. The last 32 matches scoring uh, in all consecutive games. 85 goals exactly. But Tottenham have failed to win uh, each of their last 17 matches against Liverpool. In terms of this game, how I see it going, you know, obviously we've only been there twice in the last two years. Two of which are completely different occasions. You know, we went there with no fans and absolutely obliterated Tottenham. And then we went with fans and only had a slender lead thanks to the Bobby Dazzler. It's a weird climate at the moment. You just don't know what you're going to get with Spurs. And you just don't know what you're going to get with football in general. I mean, tomorrow we could see six or seven positive cases across, you know, Liverpool. And then, therefore, it puts the game in doubt, you know. We're just living in that, that climate and that surrounding that, you know, we shouldn't be shocked to see cases. And... It's, it's a very unpredictable setting and potentially it unlocks the door for Tottenham, having Van Dijk and Fabinho, two detrimental players to Liverpool's system, out. Obviously, we know they were awaiting PCR results. Obviously, they returned positive lateral flow tests along with Curtis Jones. And, you know, it's it's going to be a mad few few months, I'm, I'm pretty sure of it. And during the winter months, I, I expect a lot of postponements. Although, I think with the Premier League, I think they will try and play as many games as they can, especially taking into account that the next season involves a World Cup and they need they need to try and keep as many bases happy at the end of the season. And look, I don't know how it'll go, mate. I don't know how this game will go, but I'm confident. I'm always confident going into a Liverpool game. You know, we're still one point adrift. I think Alisson will start in goal. I think the back four, Robertson, Trent Alexander-Arnold, Joel Matip and Ibrahima Kanate. At the moment, they're the two best centre-backs that we've got at the club. Uh, in terms of the midfield, obviously no Fabinho. I'd have Henderson probably in the sixth position. He has played well there before. But you're potentially sacrificing that that link up on the right hand side with Mo and Trent. I think Milner could do a job, which is why I'm going to put Milner in the six with Hendo on that right hand side to occupy most of our attacks, and then on the left hand side, but Naby Keita. I think he was impressive when he came on against Newcastle, so I expect him to start. Then I think Bobby Firmino will come in for this one. Uh, Salah and Mane uh, to start. I'm going to go for a cheeky two one Liverpool win. Anyway, on to Saints thoughts. Boom! You know who it is. It's your boy Saint from Saint LFC TV. Wagwan, I hope you're good. I'm here for a quick one with my boy, my young G, Alid. Listen, he's one of the nicest YouTubers, most talented dons out there, putting in work. His work rate is undeniable, isn't it? Undeniable. Look at my jacket. Look at what my dog did to it. Crazy. Please, Clock Talk TV, make sure you're going over there, you're subscribing, you're hitting the like. Come on, man. Let's push Alid forward because, honestly, he's a top G. Hey, LFC TV, come over my side and come share the love as well. It will be very, very nice. Housekeeping done. Let's get into this preview. Obviously, with the world um, at pandemic status, 
We all know that there's more, there's things that are more important than football. Um, just want to say a little shout out to anyone who's suffering with COVID or lost any family members with COVID. There might be a little circuit breaker for the Premier League pending because there's more and more games that are being, say, or postponed or whatever the case may be. So as of doing this preview right now, I don't even know if this game's going to go ahead. I'm going to be honest with you because the last I checked on Tottenham's list, Davies, Romero, Son, Mora, Skip, ah, bag of man. It's probably easier to name the man that they have available than the man that they don't. We, we're missing Virgil, we're missing Fabinho, we're missing Curtis Jones. I was going to say John Jones. <laughs> Bones. Nah, it's saying UFC. going to be a bit of a patchwork um, 11. I'm not going to say that because Tottenham is in a far worse state than us. What, just dropped my lead? Sorry. How is it that these games aren't getting um, like postponed at least until maybe the Boxing Day games or something like that? Because it's just getting very, very awkward and people not knowing what's going on in it. Allison, Trent had an absolute blinder last game against Newcastle. I'm not getting this preview out of the way without mentioning that. Absolute. Bro, when I try and look at that Trent goal, I gotta use a VPN, bro. You know them way there? <sighs> filth, filth. Canate, Matip. At some point, we've gotta start bringing in Jones. Um, I know there's muted talks of him going on loan, but we've gotta try and get him involved somewhere. However, I don't think this is the game. I don't think this is the time when he's ready because he needs to come in because he's a shower man. Matip alongside uh, Canate, Robertson, no long thing. Henderson, Thiago, and I'd like Cater to start this game. He looked really sharp, looked really on it when he came in. Um, not to say that Ox didn't have a good game, but I'd like to just rotate it. Start Cater this time, bring on Ox off of the bench, do you know what I mean? Um, and just keep our, 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 our midfield and our, our players fresh. Mane, Jota, uh, Jota Salah, like that Bobby is quite physically ready to be starting the game yet. Score, I think we're going to win 2-0. So guys, thank you, Saint. Thank you first and foremost for dropping in your clip, buddy. And thank you guys for watching up until this point. If you did enjoy the video, smash a like. If you did enjoy the video so much, then make sure you smash that all important subscribe. Guys, take care all. Stay safe. See you soon. You'll never walk alone. My guy. My guy.